Hello, it's Julie, Jules, whatever. Um, I'm back and um, yeah, I'm back. I'm back to stay. You guys have blown me away. I've come back to do my everyday makeup tutorial. Um, that was the one that won out of all, I did a poll and um, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for all of your comments and, and everything else. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do this look today. Um, it's a little bit smoky, I'm sorry, I get carried away. Um, someone should try and stop me. Um, I don't really know, I, I don't really have a palette uh, um, of very light things. I'm, you will be pleased to know I clean my palette. I clean some of my brushes. Um, my bathroom looked like there'd been some kind of murder going on, but yes, I did, I've done it. So this is my everyday makeup tutorial. Um, obviously I've done on my makeup, this is just my eyes. I will get around to doing uh, get ready with me but for god knows how long that's going to be um probably an hour and that's probably way too long for you lot you'll fall asleep so anyway um welcome back stick around go and get a drink or whatever it is you're doing in the morning or prop me up against the worktop countertop in america uh, or you make a cup of coffee today or have a glass of wine in the evening um i hope you have a really good day um uh, yeah I love you guys, just shocked. Thank you so much for your support. It's huge, thank you. Hi guys, it's Jules and I'm back. Um, having been absent for quite some time, um, I accidentally, I'll tell you the story in a little while, but I'm back, it's a Sunday evening um, and I'm finally ready to film my second video. Um, I'm going to do my everyday eye makeup look. Um, firstly, I made a mistake, I made up this eye instead of that eye, so my camera lens is around the other way. I don't know which is going to look best, actually, so be quite interesting. And I did start putting my makeup on this eye, so I had to take it off. Ugh. Anyway, I'm going to do my everyday um, eye makeup look. Um, it does look a bit heavy. It does. It is darker on the camera than it actually is in real life. Um, and again, uh, I tried to keep it as not smoky as possible but it's a little bit smoky, I'm very sorry. Um, so yes, let's um, let get into it straight away and I'll chat to you as I go along. Um, I just, first of all, I just wanted to say thank you so, so much um, for all of the comments and everything. I, you know, I, I'm shocked. I'll tell you the story as I go along, as I said. Um, but yeah, so let's, let's make a start. Um, I'm gonna try and tone things down a little bit today. Um, I've taken the time to list every single item that I used. I've done a spreadsheet and I'll cut and paste everything I use on each tutorial as we go along. So you guys can see what I've used. There's so many of you asking what colors I use and that kind of thing, <clears throat> what pencils I'd use. So I've done all that. Um, I've got them listed, I've got my notes here. So um, there's, you know, there's a lot of pressure this time because the first video um, was obviously really well received and my second one might completely flop, so I don't know. Anyway, let's do this. Um, so I've done, obviously I've done this side of my face, I've done my brow and for, this, for those of you who weren't here last time I've left this brow not done just so you can see um, the difference that makeup um, can make. Uh, obviously I've got very hooded eyes, um, and that's no surprise to anyone but this, we call, I've decided someone made a comment that they're super hoodies, super hoodies is the way forward so um, today my eye is particularly hoodie, I'll show you. I've made an attempt at cleaning some of my brushes on my on my dress <laughs> before I started to film. So, um, but anyway, this is the hood that we're dealing with. Uh, let me zoom you in, just so you can see. Um, in fact, I just used my finger. Here we go. Um, that's the hood. There you go. It goes all the way down there. Um, I haven't plucked my eyebrows for ages. So, obviously, when I was younger, I plucked them, but to within an inch of their life. So, yeah, yeah. This is the hood. As you can see, it's I'm really dehydrated. I had way too much wine yesterday. But yeah, that's what we're dealing with. So I'm gonna make a start and go get a coffee or something. Might be some time. So um, I'm going to, uh, the first thing I normally do is put um, coal liner in my eye. Um, as I said in my last video, um, there's a contra uh, quite a bit controversial that people say that it makes your eye look smaller. For me, I feel like it makes my eye look bigger. So I'm doing it. Okay, so just look away if you're squeamish. I don't know if you can actually, sorry. Nope, I'm away. <laughs> I'm a beginner. Give me a break. 
Okay, cocoa brown or chocolate brown. I'm gonna do the inner lash line as well. I can get it in my eye, not on my eyeball. And then I'm going to blend it in as I normally do. So this is a Real Techniques, Ooh. something or other. I'll list it down below. And I literally blend that just so there's no harsh edges. Got a bit of eyeliner there kicking around from yesterday. So can you see it's the line is, it's not like a definite line on, on your waterline. It's a, just a, a little light smoky effect. And obviously I don't blend what's in there, but I'll just leave it like that. Okay, so I went off and I've done my other brow now, just so you can see the difference it makes. Um, I just want you to, to, to see how much it uplifts your face. Um, and it doesn't affect really the, the hood so much at the moment, but it, it will do going forward. So I'm gonna zoom you back in again and we're gonna do the lashes. Oh, that's out again. Okay, so um, I'll use Urban Decay <laughs> Primer Potion in Original. I swear by this stuff, just bought a new one to treat myself to some new stuff because everything else was dirty. My boyfriend's in the background. I'm probably going to fluff my lines now. Not that I've got any lines. <laughs> right, okay. Lost my brush already. So this is a Morphe G17. I've listed it down below. Um, I'm going, I've, I've created a little palette today for you guys. Oh, there you go, sorry. And um, we've got, um, go with me. Obviously everything goes backwards on the lead. <laughs> Makeup Geek Creme Brulee. Then we've got Barcelona Beach. This one is Take for Granite. And this one is Clean Slate. Maybe the other way around. Anyway, this is my neutral palette. A little bit smoky. So, creme brulee. Tap it off. And then we're going to put this in windscreen wiper motions all over the lid. And I'm going to go in again, like I did before, right into my brow, but very lightly. I've only got a little bit on my brush. And I'm just going to go probably about half a centimetre away from my brow. This area here is really tricky. If you, I don't know if you can see, but when I try to do something, it folds up there. That, that fold there, that fold right there is an absolute pain in the bottom. We don't get on so well, me and that fold. So, I'll do this until I feel like I've got... Um, a nice covering and it is nicely blended so you can see now um, the hood is probably less apparent still there it's always going to be there hopefully by the end of this you won't see it anymore once I've done that one I'm going in with um, the next brush down this is this is an elf brush the numbers with E the numbers. Down below, a bit dirty, sorry. <laughs> I did clean this bit though, this bit here. Um, so this is an elf brush, it's a bit triangle, nice and rounded on the end again, um, which tends to make a massive difference for me, I find anyway. So we're gonna go into um, Barcelona Beach. Sorry, I'm probably not really good at this bit, or not very good at any bit, but. Right, okay, um, I'm going a little bit lower down now, and as you will see from my previous video, um, I'm patting this on. Okay, um, again, using the same principle as I did in my last video, I'm going to do a circle. Um, I'm not able to do the number seven that Nisha does from Sugar Puff and Fluff. I'm having to do, I do a circle just here, and I bring it over slightly, probably to, if we were going to line it up, I bring it over to here, which lines up with the colour in my eye, the iris, because my hood is very prominent just here. I have to bring my dark that way, just a little bit more, 
which limits what I can do, so which is why I have to have smoky. So that's that, okay? So we're patting it, and I'm going to blend this colour into the colour, the creme brulee, to try and create a seamless area. So hopefully you can't really see where one is the other, but the, we're getting a little bit deeper in here. Okay, next colour I'm going to use is um, Clean Slate. And I'm going to use the, um, didn't clean this one. <laughs> okay. This is Zoe, Zoe Eva, uh, Lux Petite Luxe Crease Brush. Love this brush. It's a, a multitasker, but I use it as my kind of the bit a bit darker one. So this is Clean Slate. Now these Makeup Geek ones have a lot of fallout, so I tap them off. A bit like Terry's Chocolate Orange. Oh, I forgot to put to, to do one very important step. I'm going to put a bit of translucent powder under my eye. There's a lot of fallout with the darker colours, um, and what I don't want to do is look like I've got a black eye. I'm a lover, not a fighter. So, um, yeah, here we go. I'm going to basically I'm going to copy the same pattern I did before. I'm going to do a circle, and it's going to go right underneath the last one I did with Barcelona Beach. Again, creating a circle and going over slightly under there. And as you will see again, I'm patting. I'm not doing this. If any of you didn't watch my last video, um, I'm not going to link it up here or whatever the special thing that they do is, because um, A, I don't know how to do that, and B, I've only got one other video, so go and have a look at it. But I will demonstrate what I'm trying to say. If I a lot of YouTubers have younger skin um, and they are able to literally just, they call it the windscreen wiper motion. If I do that, uh, I'll lean right in and I'll show you. If I do the windscreen wiper motion, I am just moving my flappy eyelid. So that's no good. I'm patting it and a little bit blending, a little bit, but it's it's just, it's not the same. I kind of, I cannot achieve the same effect. So patting I haven't got around to painting in it yet from my last video, but I'm, I intend to. So yes, that, that's that. Um, and then I've got one last colour after that. I'm going to use the same brush for that one. Uh, this is Take For Granite. Uh, it's a bit darker, and I, again, I'm going to tap it. A load of fallout. And I'm going, I'm going this one here for me now is, is just going to go right in the corner here. Just down there. Again, for a bit more depth. Now, I will come back after I've done this because I can guarantee you when I put my mascara and lashes on, it will look completely different. Um, as I've said before, during the day, my hoods come down to my boobs. <laughs> no, they don't go that far. Not yet, anyway, but they probably will. Um, I, uh, I, I need to see what it looks like when I've got my mascara and lashes on because at the moment they look very symmetrical, everything looks fine but they're actually not in real life so that's as much as I'm going to do um, on that and I'm going to uh, I'm going to blend that again. The, the, the tip is to blend, blend and blend and blend and when you think you've blended just blend more. You can always go back and put some more on, you can't take it away so we do a little bit at a time. Ours used to be very very heavy handed and I've tried not to be so heavy handed get better as time goes on you know you learn different things and you'll notice today that I didn't put on a um, translucent powder over my primer and that's because I'm finding that it's not a necessary step and it's just adding another layer of powder which doesn't lend itself well to crepiness so that's where we are at the moment I'm, I'm happy with that um, and I'm going to go away and put on my mascara and then I'm going to come back and show you how it looks just with mascara um because i know that not everybody um is into false lashes um please bear in mind that my natural lashes are horrendous my hair is really fine my natural lashes are really fine i had lash extensions for a good five years probably 10 years ago and they never really recovered i am using this at the moment um this is revite oh, let me show you not sponsored by the way unfortunately Woohoo! Uh, revita lash uh it's the advanced and I've been using it for about nine weeks now and it has made a hell of a difference, but no, I'm absolutely miles away from where I want to be, so I'm still addicted to false lashes. Okay, so bear with me, I'm gonna go away and I'll come back in a minute. Thank you. Ding. 
Okay, I came back because I realised I've forgotten to put the eyeshadow on underneath my eye. So let's pretend that bit didn't happen and let's start, <laughs> let's start again. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing again. Um, I've got a tiny little brush here that I got from um, Makeup Revolution in Superdrugs just around Christmas time. These are fantastic. I have listed, um, it, it looks like it was a, like a limited edition, I've listed the equivalent in the thing, the description box down below, so hopefully you can still get them. They're brilliant, again, nicely rounded. Oh dear, I'm rubbish at this. Nicely rounded, so first of all we're going to start with, I've got a tissue here which I tend to, I have one of those colour switches but I didn't get on with them, just like I ended up with a little brown mess. Um, creme brulee, underneath. All the way around. Don't be afraid here, because I think it's really important that the the top matches the bottom. And you, if you have a you know makeup, uh, you know a, a finished look on top of your eye, you need to have something underneath as well to balance to balance it out. So Barcelona Beach, really difficult not to have my mouth wide open. That's the natural state, isn't it? So one more. Excuse my phone. There's going to be probably loads of chat now, and I'm scared to turn it off in case the volume doesn't work on the camera because I literally am a technophobe. Oh, sorry. Okay, and then the last one, um, which was Take for Granite, I'm going to use on this smudger brush again because it's quite it's quite stiff, and um, I find it works really well. So I've gone a bit heavy handed on that. Where's my blending out brush? There we go. Take that away. Wipe the bottom. A little bit there. Okay, so I've got, I have curled my lashes, but I'm going to go and put my mascara on now. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so uh, I had to put a still up here because for some reason I didn't press the record button when I was supposed to. And I missed out a whole chunk, uh, which I will try to claw back, as you see, as time goes on. Um, so this is just to show you my look with just mascara. Okay, I came back. I didn't press record. I don't know where I got to. I'm going to, I think I came back when I'd done my, stuck my lashes on. I'm really sorry. Oh, God. Okay, um, so I think what I was saying was, and if I've said it again, it's fine, because I can just cut it out, but I don't know if I have. Um, I came back and I said that there's an area on my, um, I'm going to zoom you back in, I've obviously already done this, there's an area here, this eye is more hooded, it's the eye that I sleep on, and I have to make it darker here, I've actually added some dark um, when I wasn't recording, um, so I've added some dark here to make them symmetrical, no one's face is symmetrical, um, and I'm just encouraging you to, when you finish your makeup, as, as great as it looks when you're looking at it, it, does that one match that one, does that one match that one, actually look at yourself and see, does that one actually match that one, and for me, always this one, I have to come back, um, despite the fact that my eyelids have drooped massively since I first did my makeup, they're down by my boobs, not really, but that's how it feels, so yes, um, that's, that's the look, um, I added on, sorry if I didn't record this, um, I used a very light colour. Um, this is from a just from a uh, where are we? Visi Art palette. Um, I put some up here and underneath my brow bone, very very lightly. And in here, I have really deep set eyes, so I do put some um, light colour in here. Um, I just mentioned the fact that um, someone had said I put too much highlighter in the inner corners of my eye, and I put some highlighter on my top lip, and it said that look, I look like. I'd been drinking milkshake and I did I had to agree with them so yeah um that 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 was that so I'm a bit lost now because I've don't know what I've recorded and what I didn't so I'm going to zoom you back out and um if there's anything I missed I'm really sorry I just wanted to talk to you guys about what inspired me to um come back and do the second video um I did my first video because I could never find anyone that had eyes anywhere near mine. There were lots of people like um, Nisha and people that had hooded eyes, but they weren't hooded and crepey and wrinkly and old and deep set and small. And you know, 
and there were a couple of people that put comments to say that you know I was putting myself down. I'm I'm not at all. You know I'm really happy with what I've got. But I just I'm really happy. I'm even happier because I've learned how to make the most of what I've got. And I feel like every day I do I do I do that. So um, yeah, that's 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 why I why I did it to start with. So I did my first video, and I got about I don't know. 40 watches that was my friends and my family because I sent a load out on whatsapp saying please come and watch my video so everyone watched it and I had like 10 or 15 subscribers I'd um, a couple of people that had made other videos for hooded eyes had come and seen um, and it was great and I kind of you know every day I was like looking oh, how many more people have, have watched how many more people have watched and it kind of just died off um, I think after a week and a half two weeks I stopped I stopped checking every day and I've you know literally then that was pretty much it so the camera was on my um, I left the camera on the tripod and my lighting was all around everywhere and I left that on my makeup desk um, for quite some time and then probably two or three weeks ago I just decided that it was in the way it, I, you know it, it, it was it obviously wasn't for me um, and I just packed it all away um, and then the other day I think it was Sunday night or Monday night my um, Samsung notepad had broken um, so in the morning, I, I like to get ready in the morning and I watch makeup videos, that's all I do, watch makeup videos and I, um, I use my boyfriend's iPad and his account um, obviously didn't have any makeup people on it so I just searched makeup and I think I started to watch uh, Brianna Fox um, do her one of her wedding tutorials and in the top right hand corner I, it was really weird, it caught my eye, there was, there was me, <laughs> it was like um, coming up next or recommended for you. A hooded how how to hooded eyes and I looked at it and I um two weeks ago my hairdresser um had said to me oh your video did quite well and I just laughed you know went yeah yeah um and that was it because she had watched it and I didn't think anything of it so anyway so I clicked on my video because it said something like 20 view 20k views or 1.25 subscribers or so I don't know I can't remember what it was but I looked on it and I could see that I had had 20,000 views and 1.2 thousand subscribers and I literally you know that feeling that you get and it's just like that can't be right but oh my god that's amazing and I would ring my boyfriend because <laughs> I just I just was completely flawed and obviously then I went onto my email because I saw that I had comments and then I just flitted around this thing like an absolute banshee picked up my phone looked at my emails and I had 380 emails that I hadn't even checked on my YouTube thing saying you've got 380 comments 380 of you had taken the time to tell me tell me that, that you like my video hundreds of you had just clicked the like button the thumbs up whatever it is and 1240 of you have subscribed to me sorry I'm spitting <laughs> I, I, I don't really even know what to say to that apart from thank you for that and as 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 a result of that, all of this is back out again. I'm back. I'm going to do more. I am absolutely thrilled that some of you who've got eyes like me and have got super hoodies are able to watch me now and see what I do. And um, the pressure is on, obviously. I've got to, to get more stuff. <laughs> um, I've got to reinvent stuff, but you know, the, the some of the comments were just mind blowing. There's some, you know, you can all read them all, and the fact that you were all talking to each other and conversing and sharing your experiences, and some of you were like, "Oh my God, she's only done one video. I hope she's not ill," and all of that stuff. And it's just like, I, I had no idea. I literally had no idea. But I'm, I'm so thrilled, and like I said, I'm inspired. I want to know what you want to do. Like questions for you, if you could comment down below, that would be really helpful, because I'm here for you ultimately. Long videos or short videos, I tend to get so excited on someone that I really like if they've done a video for half an hour and I just think, excellent, I can sit and watch that while I'm doing my makeup. If it's one that's like 10 or 11 minutes, I'm like, why didn't you do a longer one? I want more. And then I have to stop my makeup and then scroll through and find another one. I just want to sit down for half an hour and watch a video. But, you know, tell me what you like. Obviously, I'll mix it up, but please tell me what you like and I'll do it. Um, Obviously, I'll the everyday makeup tutorial was that highest when I did my poll. I'm going to do a brow tutorial. I sent my boyfriend off to get me a, a new brow pencil today and he came back with the right one. He's a keeper. Um, and also um, my bat lashes. So um, I've got uh, different ones on today. Again, I don't know if that was in the previous recording. Um, but I'll do an in-depth tutorial about those because for hooded eyes, you know, it literally takes me one minute in the morning to put them on. 
I would encourage anyone to just get into the habit of doing it because look at the difference it makes. It, 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 it's, it really, really does make a difference. Um, so yes, I'm just going to check my notes now. I'll throw them some over here. Yeah, um, so brow separate, length of video. Um, I also just quickly wanted to apologise for the noise of me zooming in and out and the autofocus on the camera. I have got another microphone somewhere, but we couldn't find it today, so we don't, I don't know where it is. Um, and that's really, that's really it. Thank you for causing my tears this week, and thank you for the, your encouragement. Um, I'm so proud to show people the comments on my videos. Oops. Um, you guys are just amazing, and I I am so pleased that there's so many of you just going to start my YouTube journey with me. You know, it's just it for me. It's unheard of. It's just incredible, and. You know, please share my videos. If you've got people that you are your age or even younger people that have got hooded eyes, they might be able to take something from it. And I promise I will try and make my eyebrows look a little bit more symmetrical next time. <laughs> um, thank you so much. And thank you.